ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and unload a few of this stuff here, guys. It is a new day. This is all heavy steel, heavy steel. Believe it or not, this is all more money, more money. This came from my golf cart honey hole yesterday, as you seen me pick up. I brought a load of this in the other day, got 140 bucks for it, so yeah, these things are heavy. Give me a fan to take apart, pull a motor out of, get the cord off of it. Cast, dirty cast aluminum, unless I can punch that baron out. I'm actually going to pick up a washer, dryer, and a hot water heater. That's what I'm getting ready for now. Washer, dryer, hot water heater, and a piece of gutter. That's what I'm going to get. And I just texted him, asked him if they worked, and he said yes. So, it's probably gonna be something else that I'm listing on Marketplace. I listed the other one that I got, the washer and dryer I got the other day on Marketplace, and a police officer, I don't go there, a Brunswick County, I mean uh, Pender County or wherever, I can't even remember, it was, a, it was a, a sheriff actually, not necessarily police, but a sheriff, it's a drive shaft, huh, no drive shaft, I don't know what that is, oh, Oh, I went to that table. Hey. Where's the other one? Oh, up there. Look at that. Look at that. These are the legs to that table. Well, that might be a little bit low to work on. Might not be bad. Hmm. All right. So I got four legs. Got all four legs. Let me get up and get that one. I did not know I had the legs to that table. I can find bolts to put back on there. Oh, that means I got to get that leg, that table from up under there. Okay. Big table I picked up yesterday. Oh yeah. I think it's going to replace that table over there. These are going to be uh, considered unprepared steel. Number one steel, unprepared number one steel. Because it's longer than three feet. If it was cut down, it would be prepared steel. Let's see if I can get this table out of here. Oh my goodness, do I really want it? No, you want that thing, Grandpa? It is under everything. It's a little bit big for what I want, really. Oh. Washer, dryer, hot water heater. I think I can get all them items in here. I gotta bring the washer and dryer back, put it in there. Let's see here. That's not heavy steel, but I might need the room, so let me get a few of these things off here. This guy wrapped this stuff up good, look at there. I guess if I needed some fence, there it is, but I don't. Uh, let's see what we got here. Oh, well, I messed up that grill. Not that it mattered. That was aluminum goodness. That aluminum goodness. Oh, come on off of there. I can't even get the magnet pull off the truck. Oh. That's in a microwave magnets. Man, they're tough. 
is it? Nope. It's just garbage. It's just garbage. Stove, microwave, yeah, I can get it on here. I can get it on here. Yup. Stainless steel. That's all I needed to get off. The rest of it's going to the scrap yard. Today is Thursday, guys. I woke up this morning, my wife said it was Thursday. I said, no, it's Wednesday. What's in my door? Something caught, here it is. Piece of heavy steel. Yeah, I said, what, today's Thursday? You got to be kidding me. If you notice my air compressor over there been running like crazy, it pretty much means it's about dead. Run and run and run and run. I'm trying to think of anything else I want to bring to the scrap yard or throw in my truck, and I don't think so. All right, so let's go. Let's go do a pickup, guys. Scrap with Grandpa. What's next? I got a lot of stuff to clean up in here. I can tell you that. I got buckets of copper in it. Man, ooh, a nice heavy copper. I got stainless steel. Got some wires. A lot of water. Some aluminum. I didn't put a hole in that bucket, apparently. Needs it. Got some uh, rails for uh, trucks. I got some Ram there. I got some Toyota there. Got some Dodge there. Dodge and Toyota, I mean. All right. So far, so good. Tent hasn't collapsed. Tent has not collapsed. All right, guys. Let's pull this thing over there, get some air in my tire. I still haven't opened that thing up. Hmm. All right, let's go lock up. See you guys in a few. So uh, this is what happens when you advertise. This is what happens when you advertise. Not sure who this guy is, but he pulled up behind my trailer and seen my sticker said man I got a bunch of stuff for you so this is some place I've never been but I have seen scrap metal here all the time uh, I, that's for I'm me one of them type that don't never throw nothing away <laughs> could use. and then eventually it has to go that wash that thing on yeah washer and air conditioner yeah nice come on around here well, I tell you what it's getting hot already this morning getting hot and already give somebody that trailer to come take it. oh really yeah mm. it's got stuff in it that people just left no kidding i have to get just them things are hard to tow that's the bad thing about them yeah, well, you, you, oh my goodness look at all that lord have mercy all it is man alive i love it look at that that's yeah. some goodness right there buddy and then uh that is well I, yeah i want all of that gone. man that is that is Right up my alley. I'll, 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 I'll get your number and everything too. Yeah, we'll, yeah. We'll, uh, yeah, it's we'll, all right up my alley, every bit of it. Mm hmm. Yeah, it will take two trips too, won't it? Yeah, I'll get rid of it. Good. Awesome. All right. Wow. Well, now see, I take grill, things apart. Get that grill too, I reckon. Let me see okay. what, what we got. If there's any parts on it, I might want. Yeah, I might want some parts off of that because I've got a grill just like it. Yeah. And I'm going to get the, the one I got ain't got. That. That's yeah. About gone. Yeah. Oh, bees. Uh, wasp. Yep. Yeah, I see them right there. Yeah, see, these things has got. Uh, these are not in bad shape, but no. mine are. Right, right. So right. I, I, I'll, yeah, take save that. I'll take them off. I'll take them off. And then eventually you'll get the rest of it there. Man, this is a lot of goodness right here. See, I take things apart though. See, I got I, I cut my cords. This and that, that stuff don't go. No, we won't touch none of that. None of that. No, 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 no. Okay. No, I'll, no, I'll sort through all of that, and I'm gonna get my tractor in here and, and clean up this crap. And, uh, when, when do, you, when do you want to actually do it? Do you want to actually do this today, or you want to do this? Hey, do it. When, when works for you. If you need to go do something that you've told somebody else. Well, I did. I did. I did. And then that the good thing about that is I can get his. I can bring the two washers and dryers because I'm going to resell them because they work. I'm going to bring them to my garage and then take the other stuff to the scrapyard and unload my trailer. 
Come here with an empty trailer. Okay. You know what I mean? Yep. Come here with an empty trailer. That'd be better, because that way we can get two loads and... And there's other things around here, but I, I won't... Unless I've got it all stacked in that pile and tell you... Yeah. I oh, I won't touch I'm nothing. Just, it's I'm not in the pile. Say, keep it. Well, I'm going to give you my phone number right now. And, I mean, I could come back today, but it's going to be hot this afternoon. Oh, now, do you, you do it like you please. You get here in the morning about 5 o'clock, 5.15, it won't take long no. to get her done. No, That's no. what I do, get up and work. Till it, yeah, 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 until it's so I hot. Then I go in there and take a then shower, hot, take right. clothes, go get me something to eat. Right, right, right. See what the so, rest of the day. So, what are you doing tomorrow morning? No, wait a minute, tomorrow's Friday. I got a, a roof repair tomorrow. Mm -hmm. A collector. Man, look at that stuff. I like the way you got it displayed. I like it. See, I, added this up here. I love it. What a beautiful place. Look at this. Man, you got yourself a little oasis. I like your sliding door. Yeah, I made that. I've got a little music room upstairs. Man, I that. Play. I play guitar and harmonica and sing and ride a little bit and I've got a music room up there and storage behind that thing. I put that up there because somebody had given it to me and I decided... That right there was a blessing and, not to mention that, I met some good people and I enjoyed the heck out of myself just now. So uh, he gave me a whole bunch of scrap metal to pick up. Anytime I want it, just come and get it. I told him I'd be here Saturday morning early, like 6 o'clock. He's going to meet me there Saturday morning at 6 a.m. And he's going to load that stuff on my truck with a tractor. So, before that happens, I want to go back there and take a bunch of that stuff apart. Um, so I can get it separated. So all I'm sending in is scrap metal, or loading in my trailer is scrap metal. Uh, because there's so much goodness there. And I do not want... Perfect. Alright, let's make some room for some goodness. Picking up goodness. Oh yeah. Make some room in here. Don't fall out. Hell, that might be harder than picking it up. Yeah. Be, uh... You know, I'm just saying we might be picking it up easier than that dolly. I mean, we can try it, but I don't know. I think picking it up and carrying it out probably be the best way. All right. But if it weren't, I mean, we'd, let's try it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That doorway is not very uh, big. Yeah. That's a small doorway. All right. Yeah, see, once we get it out here, trying to turn the daggum thing. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, just trying to turn that dolly is going to be almost impossible. Yeah. I'm thinking if we just get it and right. go out and go with it. Yeah. This, though. Whew, just think, watch out for this cord. Let's get um, these. Using it for meetings and stuff. Uh -huh. Let's get this stuff over here. How long are you down for? It's uh, kind of we decided. I don't know. Two weeks. And uh, thinking about staying a little longer. Good. That'd be fun. Let me yeah. see if this thing. I'm not sure. I think we're just gonna pull it early and get to the stairs, and then I'm gonna set it flat like this and go down that way, right. and she'll go right down the stairs. Here we go. Here we go. Get off that step. Here we go. Got it. Yep. About that, Ooh, this is a big old hot water here. Here, yeah. Huh. yeah, let's take that off. That's goodness, right there. Top of goodness, <laughs> I save it all, brother. Oh, look at that hot water nice. here. Look, yeah, that was gummed up. Huh? I'm surprised anything went through that. <laughs> nice, yeah, that's the goodness. Awesome, I saved that part. Those two. Yeah, I'm thinking we set it right up in there. What do you think? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Yep. I've got another piece here. That ain't coming off. Beautiful. Nice. I'm talking about. Man, I was just about to back in the driveway. Uh-huh. And the guy pulls up next to me. He's like, hey, you take washers and dryers? I said, yeah. He said, dude, you need to follow me. I got a load. So I left, yeah. followed him down the street. He's got two loads. <laughs> Yeah, two loads. He's gonna load them with a tractor. Two washer dryers? No, 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 two loads. Full loads. Washers, dryers, refrigerators, air oh, conditioners. Wow. I mean, just um, Jeez. unbelievable. That's awesome. This is still hooked up. <coughs> you still working this thing? So he's still using these? No. No, they're not hooked to anything. It's just, oh, they just oh okay. The, now I got you. Oh. So we can pull on this off. see what's going on. <coughs> I don't know. Got a pliers? pliers I don't know. I don't bring, usually bring pliers. <clears throat> yeah. Not familiar with all the tools John's got in his garage. His garage is Maybe crazy. We'll just... but go for it. Oh, that ain't gonna work. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Let's try to. I couldn't do it. <laughs> you know what? We'll probably get it anyway. You can just cut it. Yeah. Does it have a knife? Yeah, I'd cut both of them. Cut them right over there. Wow. Hoses are tough. Yeah. You cut yourself, damn it. You don't get towards yourself, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, John's an awesome guy, man. I like John a lot. Yeah, he's cool. He is um, a cool cat, man. It's crazy how much work you can get done at this place. I've known him Just for a a lot Just of the other day, I tried cutting down. How old are you? A lot of that bush. I'm uh, 23. Yeah. I've known John about that long. <laughs> about how long I known him? How'd you meet him? Here, I did the roof for him the first time. Ah. All right, That's so um, be tough. yeah, I don't do that shit no more. <laughs> Has it got anything to grab hold of under there? Yeah, you got it. Mm-hmm. Oh. There's some small doors. Yeah. I'm thinking maybe you better go first. All right. Can we get a better grip? On yep, yep, yep. Get a good grip on it. Don't hurt yourself. You need gloves? I got gloves if you need them. All right. I've got cords that I'm stepping on, so. Oh, that's Put it sideways? Yep. Beautiful. Right there. Push. Yes, sir. Junk, anyway. So. That's perfect. Yeah. I'm going to go and take it apart. I take the motors off of them, all that kind of stuff. Oh yeah. Scrap. Oh yeah. I can that that dryer or washer. It's worth about three bucks uh -huh. at the scrapyard. But if I take the motor out of it, I can probably turn it into seven or eight bucks. Nice. Sell it all individually. Yep. Yep. That's what I do. The cord cords are a dollar five a pound. You can pull that thing off of there. There you go. We don't need that part. <laughs> But yeah, the cords are a dollar five a pound, so. Wow. I separate everything, bro. Yeah. Make the most money I can out of it. This is a lot lighter than that one was. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Excuse me. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'll cut. I'll cut that. Now, the dryer, I might try to sell that dryer. You told me it worked. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm pretty he sure. He told me it worked. One that one there looks a little bit rough, but he said the dryer works really good. Yeah. So I'll take that home list for 50 bucks. Nice. Make me a $50 bill. Didn't want to rearrange anything? No. Um, he said there's a piece of gutter, gutter around here somewhere. Piece White gutter. piece of aluminum gutter. About 10 foot long or so. Uh-huh. Checking the garage. Yeah. Where that was Don't know. So you used the boat? No, I think they're just storing that on this on this land for the neighbors or something. Oh, okay. Yeah, you said he had a piece of gutter. But that was the other day, though. I mean, it's been... Here it is, right here. Here it is. Yep, here it is. Okay. Yep, aluminum goodness. Awesome. Kevin, nice meeting you. Yeah, nice meeting you, too. And uh, hope you have a good time down here. Somewhat convenient. <coughs> Yes, sir. Easy loading. 
that's the one thing I like the only thing I like about not having my ramp my concrete ramp done yet is that I can back right up to my place and easily unload it I like it better when the door stays open but when it don't this is not a bad dryer prepared steel I saved that I'm gonna pile up front what we got here we got a dryer that works Washer works. <sighs> All right, I can't get to that clip on that thing. I hurt, hurt myself trying to do it. Picking up a lot of stuff on Saturday, so this has got to go. Um, yeah, this is all got to go. I'm going to go ahead and pull up, get that pile that I threw out this morning. Um, tear apart a couple things, maybe cut off a few things and blah, blah, blah and get out of here. So let's do it. They're all dead. Sell these separately. Cut the ends off. They're worth twice as much money. So make sure you're doing that. Especially on these car radios with that plastic ends on them. Oop, got an ant farm under there. Yep. Oh yeah, it's a double right here. Double. Dying battery. Dead.
some of these are galvanized. Sometimes you gotta check them, sometimes you don't. Oh yeah. Galvanized. Stainless. Stainless. What do I got over here? Oh guys, I ain't got much. I ain't got much. Got some radiator ends here. Clean, clean aluminum brads. That's aluminum. These are uh, my old dirty ends. Yeah, uh, heavy iron and aluminum. Yep. Appreciate you, my brother. Yes, sir. All right. See you next time. Thank you, my man. Appreciate you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I came through there one time and forgot to do this. Didn't measure any of my load. Brought it back there and dumped it right out. Put this guy. Come across. Go ahead. Yeah, dumped it right off too. Thank you, Southern Metal, for paying me that day. I could have not got paid. Oh. these guys work while I dump this. Oh, just made it. Got a hole over there.
heavy metal. Rudder steel. There we go, we got movement now. Now here, just pull it out. As I, as I pull up a little bit. Come on. I'm guessing I don't have anything in there. He didn't say stop. And there you go. Let them guys go right to work. Grandma, Grandpa, what's next? Everybody asked me how big this thing is. Actually, I said seven by 12, it's a seven by 14 uh, trailer with a single piston hydraulic. A little bit slow with the single piston. If you're gonna get one, I would recommend the two pistons. It will go up and down faster. You notice how big this piston is? That one single piston just doesn't push fast enough, but I mean, it works for me, so if I had to do it over again, I'd get a double piston. That's just twice the amount of work you gotta do when the piston goes bad, because I have had them pistons right there go bad on my other trailer. put too much weight on them, they'll blow the daggum pack out of the end of it. And then you're done. I mean, this place just doesn't have any scrap metal compared to when I first started coming here. I'm gonna go back to my videos, guys, and I'm gonna pull out when I first came here because if you were standing here, well, you wouldn't even be standing here because it was a pile of uh, stainless steel. But there was a little, little, <laughs> A little way that you could go right through the middle is kind of up a hill and down a hill on top of a whole bunch of garbage. <laughs> this was just a massive pile. So I'm going back to my videos. I'm going to uh, pull some of them out. I have a bunch of SD cards from when I've been earlier scrapping. I'm going to make a couple videos of before and after. Hope you all enjoy them. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Ring that bell notification so you're notified next time I put out a video. Hopefully it's something you'll enjoy. And if it is, smash the like for me. I'd appreciate it. Scrap my grandpa, what's next? Let's go get paid. Now they owe us money. I love it when they owe me money. All right, let's go get the cash. I told you. I told you it wasn't gonna be a hunter. I told you it wouldn't be a hundred, but 71. I'll take it. I had $44 worth of shred metal I just dumped off. $5.50 worth of irony aluminum, heavy irony aluminum, and aluminum radiators, uh $20.70. Not too bad. Not too bad. Um, you'll see why I came to the scrapyard today with such a empty load. Yeah, you'll see why when you watch one of my next videos, or maybe the one after that. Either way, um, yeah, I got a big, big load to pick up. So let's drive the building, see what these guys are doing over here. They must be on break. I see Kevin. I can't afford to pay you guys to stand around. 